dear friends, I feel ecstatic to join you all in the exciting journey of reading the most interesting, most captivating and the most magical journey, the Harry Potter series. Today, I am here to enlighten the spectacular events of our on and only J.K. Rowling's fourth part, The Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. The story begins with Harry's dreadful dream in which he sees the murder of Frank Price, caretaker of an abandoned riddle house by Lord Voldemort. Harry is awakened by his hurting scar. In the fourth year at the Hogwarts, do you know who the new defense against the dark arts teacher is? It's Mad-Eye Moody, the villain assistant of this book. Well, I thoroughly enjoyed the Triwizard Tournament in which a Hogwarts champion competes against the champions from other wizarding schools. And you know what? The Goblet of Fire chooses champions from other wizarding schools. The students of 17 years and above can only join. It chooses Flor Delacour from Bobaxton's, Victor Crumb from Dubstrand, and Cedric Diggory from Hogwarts. Unexpectedly, it chooses Harry as the fourth champion, forcing him to compete. Our superhero Harry struggles to accomplish every task. However, his skills and his sharp mind helps him to emerge as a winner every time. Do you know the first task? Well, Harry had to get past a dragon and retrieve a golden egg. Harry throws a summoning charm to summon his firebolt broomstick and completed the task successfully. It's the little elf, the super cute Dobby, who helped Harry by giving him a gillyweed to help him breathe underwater in his second task. Although Harry completed the last, he is given high marks for his moral fiber. Friends, have you heard of the Forbidden Forest? Do you know what happened between Crumb and Crouch in the Forbidden Forest and what Harry saw in the Pensieve in Dumbledore's office? Oh, these pages are really adventurous. The final task, a hedge maze filled with dangerous obstacles, the goal being able to reach the end. Both Harry and Cedric successfully get to the cup. Unexpectedly, they are transported to another place. However, Magic even occurs there. Wormtail kills Cedric on Voldemort's orders and performs a ritual involving Harry to restore Voldemort a body of his own. What would the hysteric fellow Voldemort do once he gets his own body? Obviously, another thrilling and exciting event happens there which makes Harry extremely happy and emotional. Want to know what happened? 